So I used to have this dragon warrior thing, and it was pretty good. But the meta has shifted to be faster, and so we nimble control warriors must shift with it. With the dragons out, there's eight slots for other stuff, and the other stuff is pretty good. Eternium Rovers help you stay alive early. Town Crier has the highest drawn win rate in Control Warrior, so I thought I would be foolish not to run two of them. A Militia Commander is really good these days. It kills a bunch of 4-4s four or 3-3s three that are out in the format. And Baron Geddon is here to burn down all the treants. No, seriously though. That's actually pretty good. At this moment in time with all of the token druids and all of the tempo rogues and all of the zoos even, this is a really, really strong deck to play. It's the Madman! Do I want to keep Warpath against what's probably a zoo? Yes? Warrior is so busted with Warpath and Brawl. It's like, how do you lose against these decks which just play a bunch of minions? How do you lose? They play a bunch of minions, you play Warpath and War Brawl. Easy. Get in there and fight, maggot! Oh, well, you look at that. It appears all of your board have just died. Oh no. I'll take it. If I didn't have the brawl in my hand, I might not have taken that. I might have gone for more. didn't even get to see my second warpath, my brawl, and then my refill. Oh, I'm not satisfied by that win. Okay, some tech option add-ins. Youthful Brewmaster, because just losing to the person who has Alciana and then Baleful Banker of Slash Brewmaster really sucks. And then Unseen Saboteur, because losing to Mechathune really sucks. And now, this is like a deck that actually doesn't cut corners. I hate not cutting corners. I love cutting corners, but it seems like the cost of cutting corners is a little too much right now. I'm so annoyed to break even with a control deck. Bad matchup, bad matchup. Didn't have the tech, didn't have the tech. But now I have the tech, so in theory the two games I lost, in theory we could win this. This should be a control versus control matchup. And I think... Get the better of them here. Nine cards, eight cards. Play the Harrison. Just toss the coin. Eh, just toss the coin. That belongs in a museum. Here's 
Stormy, Stormy! Should be fun to make them cast Bloodlust. We could ward path down the totems, but that's pretty mediocre. You didn't need that, did you? From Wicker Bow, hear my plea. These cursed spells I give to thee. Maybe it's just for frog. I think I'm on the side of the favored on this one. I used to think it was the other way around because I figured this hero power at value Dr. Boom's hero power, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe they have to run too many cards that are like, eh, maybe. And I'm not sure if they run Alessiana. I think they don't. So our win condition is just to fatigue them. There, okay, they do run unless you have never mind. They usually don't run. What should I call it? Another way to cast a Lesiana there. So I'm just getting up on this guy. Pretty wasteful. They don't usually run the Shutterwalk. Stormy, stormy. I think. Remind me, how many turns is the maximum turn? Stormbringer and Soul with the Merlin. Oh wow, get a order. Oh, yeah. <sighs> 90 turns, 25 for each player, or 45 for each player. Okay, I was second, so I began with four cards in my hand. So usually to draw the whole deck would take 26 turns. I've drawn so far two cards with Town Crier and two cards with Harrison, which means that my 26 turns was actually 22 turns. So if I shuffle 20 cards into the deck, uh, It'll be 42 turns. So it's usually strong enough for a draw. So we're basically free rolling for a win, but it's often going to be a draw, I think. You begin with 26 turns. I made it 22 turns. I put 20 cards in, that makes it 42 turns. Three turns of fatigue. Oops, sounds 
seems sound to me. Both of us, though, do face a real chance of actually losing, though. You can just get outvalued. I have to, like, picture him with two Hagatha scheme in his hand, both of which are, like, insanely deal 20 damage by now or something. Waiting for me. It's probably right to no, no, because of hex. Light the music. Oh, can't hex. Okay, I should have nullified. smallest targets I was willing to a Mega Devastator. Probably gonna cast Alessiana and then it's just gonna come down to whether or not he's got Shudderwalk in his deck. Tiny flies, Out on delivery drone. Huh. Maybe I'm willing to take one fatigue for the delivery drone? Yes, I am. A delivery drone is too good to not press. And only deal 12. Forget all the big stuff. The game. This story deserves a new ending.
Oh my, no, that doesn't... It could work. My power is stronger yet. Just need to finagle it in such a position that Alexiana doesn't die, which is possible. play the biggest threat. That should work someday. Basically, if he has Shutterwalk in his hand, then we're playing for the draw. If he doesn't, then we're playing for the win off of Fatigue. It's impossible to know until the end which world we live in. That's the second Hex out of the way. There is some small chance that Velociana survives because the opponent doesn't consider it a high target kill. No, for a fact, he has a Hagatha scheme in his hand. Other cards. sad. Infinite shaman spells? Not infinite, but lots of shaman spells might not be able to outvalue uh, Dr. Boom. I got Dr. Boom really late. You didn't need that, did you? Uh -oh. Okay. Eh. Oh. I've got to set the stage for playing Alessiana and not having her die. That would probably be most likely if I played Malagos like a turn before. Oh, the hex. Traded by Archivist Alessiana. Hey. 
Alright, as good a chance as any. Got two taunts in the way. Get him, Alessiana. Doesn't know about this card. Let's see. The Boom Reaver only has the Boom Reaver in there. I guess that's fine. Gotta take a Mega. I, I, I knew about Boom Reaver Deathwing, but it's like, if I draw Deathwing first, it's completely useless. Alright, doesn't want to deal with Alessiana again. So it's all going to depend on, well, seeing that all these cards have boxes on them, it looks like this is the only card that can be Shutterwalk left. Something like that, maybe. But if there is no Shutterwalk, I'm going to start fatiguing soon. This is going to be one of those games where the tech option of actually putting in a way to recur Archivist Alessiona wins the game. So, I guess there's enough of these control matchups for Alessiana. Like, she's already paid for herself since two of the games. She'd have made a huge difference. You gotta play this while the Boom Reaver is in the deck. Wait, we have to, we have to press this button though. We're obligated to press that button. The interesting thing is you don't know if that card is Shutterwalk or not until the deck runs out. But, oh no, too much tempo! But there it is. But we actually have a legitimate chance of winning. Actually, we do just win. Because that's a lot of tempo. Wait, where'd... Where'd the duck go? Oh, wait! Oh my god, Shutterwalk transformed! It's done! Not that it would matter. Nothing like chopping down the forest. That's what this card does, right? Basically. When I look at all the cards in this deck, it's almost like this is the anti-token druid. You've got the Eternium Rover to counter his Acorn Bearer. You've got Warpath to counter his tokens. You've got Brawl to counter his tokens. You have Baron Geddon to burn down the forest. The light protects me. Like, how can they possibly win? And my draw is nuts here. Unlike his. Well, his draw is also nuts. But, wow, Attorney Rover is so good. On turn one and two against Token Druid specifically.
token druid. No. No. I have like no token. It's so sad. for token druid. You're crying. I'm sorry. Do they at least have the eight? No, they don't. Oh, so sad. options here. Get a bunch of guys out, they can clear all the tokens. Wide is better than tall against token burn. Probably power of the wild. Hmm. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. The bully. Oh. He's like so sad. Why didn't I cast power of the wild? Because he has warp path and brawl. Maybe I just go for the RNG for the hilarity. This is funny. Light the fuses! Defend the gates! To me! The odds are pretty good that I was gonna tag like four of them. But I actually got unlucky. I can't win them all. 